Low temperature paste solder is the easiest of all solders to use because it works with a butane lighter. This is pattern brass strip I made into an oval tube bead. I'm going to solder this little bezel cup on the front and I'm also going to add a little twisted wire trim around the bezel cup to jazz it up. To make trim for the bezel, wrap the twisted wire around a mandrel that's a little larger than the bezel, then put the wire in place with the short end on the bottom and tighten. I'm demonstrating with brass, but this solder also works with bronze, copper, stainless steel, and nickel. I use ultra flush cutters to trim both ends at once, and then close the ring carefully so the wire ends meet. Rough up the areas that will be soldered. I'm using a coarse fiber wheel. To do this by hand, use 400 grit sandpaper or Scotch-Brite. This crazy looking metal thing is called a third hand. It's sitting in a rotating annealing pan filled with fireproof pumice. The alligator clip at the end holds my metal firmly and the articulated joints let me adjust this to any angle that I need. Now I'm ready to apply the solder. I'm using a toothpick or you could use a piece of wire to apply the solder. I'm going to put it on the back of the bezel cup and then place it. I'm holding the piece with my curved tweezers and then I'll just flip this over and place it right where I want it. And then I also need to put a dab of solder in a few spots for the wire trim and then put the wire in place. and this is now ready to solder. I'm going to solder this using this long reach butane lighter. They also call these fireplace lighters. I'm just going to hold the lighter below the metal. Now watch the solder. You're going to see it start to bubble a little and then it'll get very shiny and it'll melt and that's the moment you remove the flame. Here's an overhead view. Watch the bit of solder on the twisted wire on the right side of the tube. You'll see a flash and then it flows. For jump rings, use a small amount of solder and then heat it from below. Now watch for the flash and then remove the flame. For this heavier piece, I use two third hands for extra stability. Now keep your eye on the 3 o'clock position, the right side of the bezel cup. Watch as 1, 2, 3 slump. And then here's a side view of the same thing. Now watch the base of the bezel cup. It's going to slump in 3, 2, 1. Visit our learning center at www.cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, new products, contests, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.